Am I the only one waiting in line? Oh, okay. There's somebody else. Hello, hello. Hey, welcome, hello. Anna. Welcome, Melissa. Welcome, Gloria. How are we doing today? Good, good, good. Pretty good. Hello. Put the volume up just so they can hear. Okay, so we're about to get started in a little bit. I'm just going to go close the door. All right. I got to hold my, uh, my phone here to some device. Okay, so let's go on. First, we're going to start. Does anybody have any, uh, anyone in particular they wish to take? Insurance market. Insurance market, that's it. My only screen, my screen go blank or it's everybody else? Uh, are you guys able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. 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 So, unfortunately, we're still not there. It's still, it won't let me unlock that one. Uh, okay. Do you, do you want to do to, uh, individual life insurance type of policies, life insurance basics? I'm fine with anything for individual. That's fine. Individual. Let's let's try that one out. Okay. So. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so question number one. What is the benefit of choosing standard term as a non-future option? A, it allows the coverage to continue beyond maturity date. B, it can be converted to fixed annuity. C, it has the highest amount of insurance protections, it matures, or D, it matures at age of 100. Okay, let's read it one more time. What is the benefit of choosing extended term as a non preferred option? A, it allows for coverage to continue beyond maturity date. B, it can be converted to fixed annuity. C, it has the highest amount of insurance protection. Or D, it matures at the age of 100. Hmm, I don't know, maybe I think it's, uh, I probably want to say B or, yeah, I'll go with B, I don't know. Let's go with B. And the answer is C, it has the highest amount of the insurance protection, okay? Under this option, the insurer uses the policy cash value to convert term life insurance for the same face amount. Former, wait a minute, sorry, the little... So it basically creates a little bit of cash value. Let me explain you guys why. Okay. So under this option, the insurer uses the policy cash value to convert to term insurance for the same face amount as the former permanent policy. The duration of the new term coverage leaves for long as the period as the amount of the cash value will be purchased. So when somebody wants to change from one option to another one, that's basically what's going to happen. Uh, let's just say you had a whole life. You want to keep, it's really rare when this happens, but you want to keep that policy, right? You say, man, I invested so much. I want to turn this one into a term. 
man, so you would get that one for, for a certain amount of years, but you would pay it for time if you would just left it the way it is. Okay, so your value goes down pretty much. Okay, let's go to question number two. An insured stops making payments on a loan taken from his cash value policy. What will most likely happen? The policy will be reduced to an extended term option. The policy will terminate when the loan amount with interest equals or exceeds the cash value. C, the insurer will increase the interest rate on the loan and charge a penalty. Or D, the insurer will not permit the policy owner to take out any more loans. Maybe C. All right, let's try C. The answer is B. The policy will terminate when the loan amount with interest equals the exceeds of the cash value. So let's just put it like this. You have the cash value, and then you take out some money out. They just say you need it for an emergency. So now what happens is that the company, uh, they're going to keep paying it, paying the, the money that you took out from your own money, paying it from where? From the insurance. So it's going to be taking little by little, little by little, little by little to where you have zero amount of insurance. So it's going to be pretty much dropping out of your life insurance benefit. Okay. And then in most policy, failure to pay back the loan will resume the termination of the policy of the total amount of the loan and incurred interest equals the cash value. So if it exceeds the most, you're definitely not going to have insurance. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Okay. No, we're good. Okay, okay, question three out of 12. Which is true about the cash surrender non forfeiture option? A, the policy remains active for some time from time after the policy holder offers for cash surrender. B, the policy uh, holder receives the original cash value of the policy. C, funds exceeding the premium paid are taxable as ordinary income. Or D, after the cash surrender, the insurance covered for a great period of one month. <laughs> um, it's fine. Don't even stress it. I want to say A or the payment that talks about it. So let's just go with which one. Hey, hey, welcome, Vicente. I think maybe A, too. Thank you. It's, it's actually C. Funds exceeding the premium paid are taxable as ordinary income. Let me tell you why. So which of the options is true about the cash surrender option? So give me, give me an example. When the question is asking you for the true, three of them are incorrect and one of them is correct. So the funds exceeding the premium pay are taxable as ordinary income. So the insurers surrender the policy at its current cash value. Only any excess, excess of the cash value is taxable as income. Once the policy owner opts to cash surrender, the policy is immediately inactive. So when it comes to taxes, uh, when you surrender some of, like basically take out some of the money, it will be taxed in some places. Some I really doubt it. I think it's just depending on which one's the one that you guys will be doing. Question four out of 12. If a policy has an automatic premium loan provision that helps if the insured dies before the loan is paid back, let me, let's read it one more time. If a policy has an automatic premium loan provision, what happens if the insured dies before the loan is paid back? A, the policy penitentiary takes over the loan payment B, the policy is uh, rendered new and void. 
C, the balance of the loan will be taken out of the debt benefit, or D, the policy beneficiary received full debt benefit. I don't know if you guys recall the other question we had regarding that. What comes to your guys' mind? I want to say B or D. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do D. Let's see. The balance of the loan will be taken out of the death benefit. So uh, going back to how I mentioned to you guys, if somebody gets a policy with the savings or cash value and they want to take out money out, you can, but you'll get it at an 8 to 6% rate of return to borrow whose money? Your money. So you would get the money. You need the money. You would get it. Three things that would happen. You would get in three to six months to get the money. You would pay a uh, four to eight percent of interest in that money, and you, when you die, you only get the greater of. So let's just say, put an example. Throughout the period of time, you're paying back the loan of your life insurance, right? You pass away, but let's just say you owed uh fifty grand, right? You took off fifty grand, and your insurance is one fifth. Let's just say, let's just say you just didn't pay the payment, whatever. You didn't pay for your savings. You just paid for your insurance. Let's do this. So now it was going to be taken out because the money has to be getting paid, right? So now you have 50 plus the entrance. So if you divide that, you'll, you'll probably be end up getting like 75000 out of the 150000 coverage that you had based on the interest that it had. So it would be taking out, taking out, taking out. And so it would be taking out from where the death benefit, okay? Does anybody have any questions? Okay, let's go to the next one. Under, under which non for future option does the company pay the surrender value and have no further obligations to the policy owner? Okay, let me remove this. Okay, yeah, to the policy owner. A, cash surrender, B, reduced paid up, C, paid up options, D, extended terms. Which one do you guys think it is? Is it A? Let's try A. That is correct, yes. Uh, once the cash value surrender value is paid, the contract is over. It is over. So as soon as you pay, you finish paying, that's it. You continue with your insurance and you continue with your savings. So now it, the cash surrender, so it just continues you over and over. And if you want to take out more money, well, then that would be up to you. Uh, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to take out the money knowing they're going to charge you that, that whole interest, but uh, you could start all over again. Okay. When a reduced paid up non future option is chosen, what happens to the face amount of the policy? A, it decreases over the term of the policy. B, it remains the same as original policy regardless of any difference in value. It is reduced in the amount of what the cash value would buy as single premium, or D, it is increased when extra premiums are paid. Which one do you guys think it is? I don't know. Let's go B. Let's go B. B? So I guess. So I guess. B, yeah. Okay, let's try B. The answer is C. It reduced the amount of which the cash value would buy a single premium. So, in, ow. In a reduced paid of policy, the original policy's cash value is used in single premiums to pay for permanent policies. With the reduced base amount from the original, hence the name of the new policy, accumulates in cash value until it matures or ensures that. So 
Sí, talento. Claro. I haven't seen this question before, so I'm just gonna screenshot it. There we go. Okay, so in reduced payroll policy, the original policy cash value is used as single premium to pay for permanent policies with the reduced face amount from the original hands of the name. The new policy accumulates in cash value into maturity for the insurance debt. Okay, okay, I see what it's trying to say. So some people will have, uh, like take out the money, but in some cases they would want to make it into a permanent. So it was just depending on which one would it be, would it be permanent, uh, what accumulates what. And I feel like understanding uh, the concepts would be helpful. Okay. Uh, what is, can somebody read this one? Okay, all right. All of the following statements concerning dividends are true, except lower insurance company costs generate higher dividends. They stem from favorable underwriting experience. Favorable investment results generate higher dividends or dividend amounts are guaranteed in the policy. Let me do it again. All of the following statements concerning dividends are true, except lower insurance company costs generate higher dividends. They stem from favorable underwriting experience, favorable investment results generate higher dividends. Dividend amounts are guaranteed in the policy. Is it A? Concerning dividends. Well, I think I'll go for A. You guys want to do A? Let's do it. Ah, no. Oh, so it's dividend amounts are guaranteed in the policy. Oh, okay. So dividends cannot be guaranteed. Oh, okay. All right. Except okay, no. so that it is. No. What exactly is dividends? Can you explain that? Uh, did you hear that? I can't hear you. Okay, so what dividend what dividend means it's what the money is going to be gaining out of uh, the interest. Uh, let's just say you put a certain amount of money, the money that you receive, that's what's called a, a dividend. Okay. okay. Does somebody want to read the next question? Okay. Don't be shy. <laughs> I'll read it. Thank you if so much. Appreciate it. Okay. If an insured can. If an, ins yeah, if an insured continually uses the automatic premium loan option to pay the policy premium, A, the policy will terminate when the cash value is reduced to nothing. B, the face amount of the policy will reduce by the automatic premium loan amount. C, the cash value will continue to increase. D, the insurer will increase the premium amount. Uh, I'm gonna go with A. I don't know about C or D, so it could be A or B. Uh, C or D, I will, you know, do away. I so which B. one do you guys think it is B? Okay, let's try B. Oh, it's actually A. The policy will terminate when the cash value is reduced to nothing. So now that you don't have any cash value, it will terminate. Okay. Do you have any bad. questions? Yeah, that's a bad way to earn that, you know, finish the policy, but oh well, that's fine. Yeah. No, and you know what? It's certain about certain companies that that have been doing. 
You're muted. Yes. For some reason, you cut off. We can't hear you. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I don't know why I clicked something and it just automatically starts like that and I have it connected to my phone, too. So it's like, what am I doing? Anyways, so going back, uh, when a cash value, uh, cash value is pretty much when it has the savings and when it has the the debt benefit, okay? Let's just say like that, if an insurer continually uses the automatic premium loan option to pay the policy premium, I don't know if you guys uh, remember when I did mention that if you take out a loan, right, and you don't want to pay the loan, but you still want the life insurance, you'll be paying for your life insurance, but the loan will be getting paid from your death benefit. So at one point, uh, it cuts off, right? So the policy will terminate when the cash value is reduced to nothing. So let's just say your loan exceeded so much and you have a little bit of death benefit. And if it exceeds the most, you literally are with no life insurance. Okay. And uh, this option usually elected at the time of application provides that in case of possible policies lapse, the premium will be automatically paid from the contract's guaranteed cash value. However, once the cash value is exhausted, the policy will terminate. So let's just say, for example, um, you die while you still owed, uh, let's say, $15,000 on the loan, but on your death benefit, it, it has like $20,000. And it's still keep paying, you'll get the 20000 even though it has already wasted all your money trying to pay the loan back. Does that make sense? So it you get the 20000 you get the 20000 as a mm -hmm. death benefit. Mm -hmm. but, you, but you owed 15000 wouldn't be the difference, 5000 Yeah, you would get you you would get the 5000 but let's just say, right, uh, you didn't pay the loan. And loans, they have the interest. So when you have the, the interest, obviously, it's not going to be the same amount as the ones that you're going to pay. So if it's 8 to 9%, you're definitely going to be paying more than 20000 you know, on just interest. So yeah. and if, it, if, if, if the cash value rents out, that's when you say, you know what, no more uh, death benefit because the cash value eats it all. Does that make sense though? Yeah, no, no more debt benefit. Yeah, that's yeah, it exhausts, it terminates the whole policy, right? And it sucks how some companies do are willing to sell that and clients are really not informed. That's why you guys are going to do great and amazing in this business, okay? Let's go with the next question. Which life insurance settlement options guarantees payments for the lifetime of the recipient? The recipient, but also specifies a guaranteed period due to which is, if its original receipt die, the payment will continue to designate beneficiary. A, joint and survivor. B, single life. C, fixed amount. Or D, life income with peer certain. Hmm. I want to say join in survivor or life Amazing. income with period certain. I, I had this question. I can't remember. It was one of those two. Okay, get in up. Uh, you guys want to go with A? Yeah, yeah go, ahead. go ahead. Okay, let's try it out. The answer is D. You're Stava Cerca, Gloria. You're so close. I mean, you had it pretty much had it. So the life income uh, uh, with period certain option guarantees payments for the life of the recipient also specifies guaranteed period and continued payment. If the receipt should be should die during the period, the payment would continue to designate beneficiary for the remainder of the period. Let me give you, I get where you uh, try to put join in survivor. Join in survivor, what, this, what that one mean is like if you get a life insurance on somebody, but you would get it upon the first death of one of them. And then the second survivor would get the other. That's what that would mean, okay? Okay. Do you guys have any questions with this one? No, huh? Okay, let's go to the next one. 10, all of the following are beneficiary designations except contagion, primary, specify, or territory. C. C as in cat? Yes. 
That is correct. Wowzers. Beneficiary designation determines the order in which benefits will be paid. Primary contingents, which includes secondary and territory. Okay. So right here, three of those A, B, and C are correct, but D doesn't happen. Okay. So specify is a whole different thing. Uh, so right here, when it says except, think about it as three are correct and one is wrong. So the wrong one basically is the right one. <laughs> okay, let's go to question 11. What is the purpose of a fixed period settlement options to provide a guaranteed income for life? To provide a guaranteed amount of money each month? To provide a guaranteed income for a certain amount of time? Or D, to settle the insurance company's liability? I would go for B or C. I'm trying to figure out. B or C. What is the purpose of a fixed period? B or C. I wrote, okay. I say A or B, not. But I may be wrong. C? <laughs> I go with B, but you, you choose now. Let's go with C. Okay. okay. To provide a guaranteed income for a certain amount of time. When the fixed period settlement option is selected, the insurer agrees to pay the proceeds to equal the installments over a specific period of time. So you would say, you know what? I want to fix uh, this. So I want fixed annuities or fixed variable. I want it to say, you know what? I want to fix it. So I want my son to get $20,000 each month for seven years. Okay. And you could put it for how long and how much. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Last one, guys. We got this. <laughs> it is an insured pays $1,200 annually for their life insurance premium. The insured applies this year's $300 worth of accumulated dividends to the next year's premium. Through this reduce, it's $900. What option does it describe? A, accumulation at interest. B, cash option. C, flexible premium. Reduction of premium. D, reduction of premium. Okay, yeah. let's try that one. That is correct. Yes, the reduction of premium option allows the policy owner to apply policy dividends towards the next year's premium. The dividend is subtracted from the premium amount yielding the new premium due to the next year. So I had another question for you guys. Uh, do you guys, uh, for uh, feedback, do you guys want to add like a different game? Do you guys want to... Uh, because for my uh, classes, that the ones I'd be doing on Tuesday, I want to, uh, like, try new things. You know, I want to bring in Kahoot, like, more options. What options, other things do you guys feel like it would help you guys, uh, like, learn a little bit more? Or you guys want to do, like, videos? Do you guys want to do, like, lessons? Do you guys want to keep doing quizzes? Uh, I mean, I go for quizzes. I mean, it's just, this is, uh, I guess it's more... Uh, at least according to Raul Avila, it would, you know, you know, jog your mind always with quizzes, 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 quizzes. Okay. So, I mean, that's that's how I, I would prefer. Okay, sounds uh, good. Um, are you, I mean, uh, I know it's what, 9.30? Yeah. Uh, you still, yeah. you still got 30 minutes, right? Uh, well, it's usually just one, one test that we do. Okay. But, oh, yes. Yeah. But we could do another one, I guess. I don't know. I mean, well, I mean, do, do you usually have your cut up time in half 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 hour? Uh, so usually I do it from uh nine to like nine thirty. That's pretty much how much it takes because we go over one test. But uh, right. yeah, that that's why uh for next next Tuesday I want to say okay, we could do like a a fun game before a lesson and then do the test another thirty minutes. See if they could give me like access to do an extra thirty minutes. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's up to you. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm open to it. I'm open. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's nice. I, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna start doing some uh, like cahoots, like videos. Uh, make it more interesting so that you guys could learn 
basically the concept, right? Learn what it's trying to say so by the time you get to the quizzes, you won't feel like I've never seen this in my life or I've never got to explain this in my life. It's basically the concept. As Once you learn the concept, then it just automatically flows to the answer to the question. That, does that make sense? Yes. But for next Tuesday, I'm going to have the best lesson plan ever for you guys. I even, okay, thank you. I even got my butt. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you guys have an amazing great night, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.